A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue, Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. As far as Arsenal concerned, it was a good start to the season for them. They played some attractive football, they looked fit, and they fully deserved the three points. Can they repeat that today? Let's hope so. An encouraging Arsenal move. Well, they could have been in, but that's wonderful defending. And here's the Palace 11. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted. And I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. And he's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Jorginho showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up but then the one that fails to hit its target the defenders know you can't really allow space like that and a goal to give them the lead they have their reward. Well, let's take another look. And you have to say the defending is so poor. That's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Anderson. Pedraza with it. Cairo Riedewald. Ezzi. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Martin Odegaard. Conte. Can he do it? Opportunity missed. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it was a penalty for Chelsea, but it was a magnificent save. Top corner by the goalkeeper. It remains nil-nil with 33 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, standing off them here. Might be a chance here. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there.
And he's fired over the corner. Oh, disappointing clearance. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Over it comes. Well, the danger is still there. And hit with ferocity! Oh, so close to extending the lead. Well, that really would have put them in a commanding position, but it's still all to play for here. Under pressure. And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. So, the ball rolling again. Palace trailing after the first half. Can they come up with a response here in the second? And in with a real chance. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Played over. And clears the danger. Gabriel Martinelli Bukayo Saka Oh, that's an interesting pass But he drifted into an offside position Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long And that's why it's offside Not to like about that pass Partey And stopping the danger. And the story now confirms Spurs have got their man, Stuart. Well, at around £50 million, I think they've probably paid the right... Can he finish? In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. White. That's a lovely ball. Palace recovering possession well. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Really clever pressing. Determined defending. Henderson. And a chance, Odegaard. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, I'm sure the replay will confirm he got a touch on this, which he does. So he'd be really upset that he didn't keep it out. Well, no wonder Arteta's delighted. They're bossing the game now. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Conte. Well, good run and good ball control but really sticking to the task defensively. Ezzy. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. 
Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And there it is, a red card, and everything was going mostly to plan. Well, it shouldn't affect the result, but it ruins what has been a very good performance. Into the final 20 minutes. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Just a quick reminder, we'll have action from the Carabao. Oh, Derek, this is a big moment here. And there's a quality defender in action. Pedraza. And thumped away. Arsenal being afforded too much room. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And he favours the inside route. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring. But it's a poor effort. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Arsenal facing Fulham. And he's broken free. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Real chance. And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Oh, he'll take it on. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Really good challenge. So there so goes the, the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them. What did what you make of it all? all? Well, well Derek, Derek, it's now a good display by them on the end of the first couple of matches. They look very, 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 very